this is Daniel Kerrigan uh, back with ESX tutorial number two. Uh, today we're going to talk uh, briefly about the loading single cycle waveforms such as would be used in a wavetable synth like the old PPG wave or other uh, wavetable synths um, in order to be used in our Korg SX. Now there are ways to get our Korg SX to mimic a wavetable synth although there is no actual wavetables here because uh, you can't uh, modulate through different waves like you can on a wavetable synth. Also, the modulation section on the ESX is kind of lacking in that you cannot um, you cannot modulate the start or, or, or envelope points, uh, the start or end points of samples, which is kind of a pain, but there's ways of getting around it. So first off, on this smart media card, I have uh, some of the <coughs> Profit VS waves and also some old SH9 waves and they are broken down into single cycles. Now, single cycles means that when you take a wave and you got it on the graph and it's got all the cycles, right? It's, it's one cycle that can be looped. It's always uh, a perfectly um, trimmed sample. Now, these waves, you can get single cycle waves for free on the internet. Uh, lots of different places. One of the biggest archives that's free is the Adventure Kid archive. So if you look up uh, on Google Adventure Kid waveforms, you'll get uh, like 1,400 or so, maybe more, maybe less. Anyway, it's over a 1,000 uh, single cycle waveforms. And each one of these can be used as a separate synthesizer in the Korg ESX. Now, there's going to be some background noise because my son, the genius, is in his room playing loudly with his toys. So, lucky you. All right, so I have the smart media card put in here. I'm going to go to global shift 16, which is the card that says load. Yes, I want to load. Scanning my card. Do I want to load all? No. Do I want to load a pattern? No. No electribe sample. I want to load a wave. So I go to the spot where I want to load the wave, and that's where I want to be, and yes, I want to load the wave. So I go to the sample. Here is the actual wave um, by itself. Very impressive, right? No. But when you go down to the loop point and you set your loop point to uh, zero, now you can hear the wave. Whoops. Jingle, jingle. Now you can hear the wave. Right. Now you have a new synth sound, and it takes up a fraction, a tiny, tiny, tiny fraction of a second of your synth memory. Um, you'll notice that a lot of the stock synthesizer sounds that come with the SX are actually single cycle waves. Um, anyway, so here we have it. The next thing we got to do is we got to tune it. Keyboard, but I can use it to tune this piece. So I go down to tune, sample tune, hit a note, C. A little more. You can uh, tune on the ESX, you can uh, tune whole half notes by holding down shift. All right, it's negative four half notes here, and fine tuning without holding shift. Sounds good. Okay, the next thing we want to do is we want to save this piece. I'm saving it to 42. Whoops. Okay. So we have our, uh, our synth. There are ways of making it mimic a wavetable synth. For one, in the modulation section, you can um, modulate the pitch at the fastest sine wave possible with a tiny bit of depth to give it just a tad detail. Send it to the grain shifter. 
because the grain shifter modulates the little spot, um, the little tiny wave anyway. Set it to about half. You can hear that. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to normalize this so that it's as loud as it can possibly be. As you can hear, that's a nice, nice, thick drum uh, uh, synth sound. synthesizer.